The Dark Rangers were just added to all the elves in 9.2.5. Most importantly, the Night Elves got the Undead Dark Ranger customization, which, while a customization, is technically an entirely new race. This way, Blizzard made a really revolutionary decision of adding an Undead race to the Alliance, while not introducing a new race at all and just giving a new look to the existing one. When you think about it, this really is genius and really, it brings us to wonder, could this be the exact same? solution for those humans that want to return back to the Alliance. There was the gathering, Sylvanas recently resurrected Alliance soldiers and let's discuss why can't these people just return back to the Alliance in the shape of an undead customization for the regular humans. Could this become a reality in the near future? You all know it, Raid Shadow Legends, the most detailed mobile RPG that you can also check out on your PC if you use my QR code or the links below. A lot of things have been happening with Raid as they just celebrated their third anniversary, they added Doom Tower, Hydra, the Shadow King faction, there is also the event Pad of Light with three branching pads, as well as a new set of skins for Tranda Guild Mullet. Something really awesome is going on right now, Raid is running a really special Deliana event and all new and existing players can get the legendary champion all you need to do is log in and play between now and july 20th for seven days also until july 20th all new players will get 50 xp boost to max a deliana to level 50 if you use code my deliana now that is just a warm-up if you use my link or the qr code all new players will get a starter pack worth 30 dollars free champion to help 20k silver one xp boost one energy refill and one ancient shot to summon immediately on top of all this first 100 of you guys my viewers that use the code doran's movie 22 will get a special epic reward pack so check out Age Shadow Legends. The Undead have really just been a whole mess pretty much since their introduction. Originally, most of them were loaded on humans that fell completely innocent, defending their homeland against the Plague of Undeath, which was, as we know it, orchestrated by the Jailer through the Lich King. However, we always had the question, since they are sentient and a lot of them retain quite a bit of their memories, why can't they just go back to their old lives or at least reunite with their families, get in contact with them, because as you may know, a lot of people fled to Stormwind from Lordaeron and many of the Forsaken's families are still alive and well as regular humans. Well. All the way back in Walker 3, this kind of made sense. The undead were a completely new thing, something that came out of nowhere, something that caught everyone by surprise. They just seemed like zombies, terrible monstrosities that had nothing to do with the original person. So let's just put them out of their misery it would be the best course of action. And this really was the case for certain undead, such as the ghouls, the abominations, and the like. However, we actually got the faction of the Forsaken. These Forsaken were well presented humans that retained a lot of their intellect, emotions, and everything, they were just in an undead form. Now, originally, as it was a shock, it is logical that their families and the rest of the humans wanted nothing to do with them, but a lot changed over the course of these years. First, we faced off the actual mindless undead, the Scourge, and defeated them back in Wrath of the Lich King. Then, the Dead Knights joined, and the Dead Knights are literally just like the Forsaken, just like a specific class. Then, these Dead Knights became a regular, everyday thing, something you can actually see. Keep in mind, in the lore back in Wrath of the Lich King, when the Death Knights first reached Stormwind and Orgrimmar, the crowd literally just threw stuff at you, said terrible things that was incredibly hostile, so they definitely didn't like the undead. However, a lot have happened even since that point. The Horde and the Alliance worked together on multiple occasions, and this exposed the Forsaken to the actual humans. There have been many instances where they were together in these neutral hubs where we spent time together, so the Forsaken weren't just some crazy children's story horror for the regular humans, but it was a being they interacted with, they saw they were intelligent. Then in the recent few years, the biggest movement ever happened, and that was the original gathering. Anduin proposed the Forsaken and their families to reunite, and while you may not know of this event, if you didn't read the books, it was a really important one and a pretty big step in reconnecting the Forsaken. Essentially, there was the idea that after all these terrible times we all went through, all these wars, it was finally time for the undead and their families to see each other again, but this ended up disastrously. Sylvanas was hostile from the start, Kelly and Manatee literally tried to get the Forsaken to defect, which ended up in Sylvanas shooting her and her becoming a light on undead, and uh, just a whole bunch of other things happened. Plus, all of the Forsaken were destroyed as well, as many of them tried to actually defect from Sylvanas, so while 
this ended up in a complete disaster unfortunately it was symbolically a really big thing because it showed that there were humans that were ready to accept the undead and no longer were they these terrible abominations they just wanted to avoid so since then it really has only been going better for the forsaken shadowlands as an expansion is i would say the most important milestone as we literally enter the afterlife the core of undead and we learned what it is we learned what necromancy is we learned how the undead are created at least in a way and most importantly it was confirmed to us that this isn't some kind of a dark magic curse that destroys the original person but it is a form of magic that alters the original form and that keeps them in this state tied to the death realm well of course not a good thing it does mean that the undead are actual beings and not just these mindless monsters best example of this would be metal fellstorm there was a very specific arcane type of undead that lived quite normally for thousands of years and actually interacted with regular people so he was really not all that different so while this happened recently it got even better most recently as Kelly and Manitil, the light one undead just became one of the forsaken rulers and as you may know she was a human until recently and she is actually a lot more tied to the alliance than she is to the horde in 9.2.5 the ruins of Lordaeron were cleansed from the plague all the malicious influences were removed Sylvanas is no longer the ruler there is no more jailer no one is driving the forsaken to battle the humans which now brings us to the question why should they even be at war literally what is the actual reason battle for azeroth is over the factions united as you have seen with cross-faction grouping there is literally not a single reason for the undead to battle the humans as after all they are just humans <laughs> themselves mostly we have even seen this with Kalia as a part of the new desolate council sending a letter to gen greymane where she says she'll propose the removal of all undead troops from gilneas which strongly hints at gilneas being returned back to the alliance and becoming a new city to me this seems like the alliance might follow up with this and they might leave the forsaken alone as well withdrawing all their troops from the northern eastern kingdoms however even more happened in this 9.2.5 questline because as you may know we got the dark rangers now people speculated on them becoming a new class a specific race but blizzard did something sort of genius and managed to add a completely new race in a really low effort in order to keep up with the lore so we didn't really need a new expansion for this an entire new storyline as you may know dark rangers have almost exclusively been elves and most of them have been blood elves as was the case with savannah swindrunner however Back in BFA, Sylvanas started resurrecting Night Elves and creating a new generation of Dark Rangers and they have been a part of the Forsaken since this point. So Blizzard decided to just let them return back home. They literally just said it, we got rid of all the bad stuff, we cleansed the plague. If you want to join us, join us. If not, just go your own way. So now you can play a Blood Elf and a Dark Ranger, which could be either be a forsaken or it could be a forsaken that decided to return to silver moon and most importantly you are a forsaken that literally returned to the alliance because why not you fell in an unfortunate manner why should your people shun you why can't you return back home so now you may be thinking if they did this for the night elves that fell recently literally what is one single reason they can do the exact same thing for the humans there are multiple generations of undead race humans the majority are those that fell in the original destruction of Lordaeron, so they are the first generation just like sylvanas herself however sylvanas hasn't really been <laughs> nice exactly throughout this past decade or two and there have been multiple instances where she decided to just straight out resurrect the lion soldiers she has experimented on them and she even went as far as to turn whole soldiers into skeletons as we can see it in the battle for Lordaeron. so why can't these humans now return back to their homeland and rejoin their families in the exact same manner as the dark rangers in my opinion this could totally be done with a new but a totally unique undead customization for the actual humans if you're wondering about it from the lore perspective well i'd say the exact same explanation could be used how the undead night elves were accepted back into the night elven society the same thing could be said for the humans i know the biggest issue for this is that it might make the forsaken a tad bit obsolete as after all they are just undead version of humans they have always been however why not make a skin or at least a bit of a different body type similar to those maybe skinny humans from cool terras and then they could rejoin the alliance uh, lore wise they could explain this as maybe the second generation the more recent one returning back but technically it could also be the original lord of the Rodians. with 
Dark Rangers, this was done a bit more easily because the Dark Rangers always kind of look like a reskinned elf with different eyes and skin color. However, lore wise, that never really made all that much sense. Why were the undead elves any different than the human ones if they were raised in the exact same process around the same time and went through the exact same thing? So, as I said, a similar reskin could be done for the humans, and this could either be explained as a newer generation, maybe some type of a new preservation ritual they went through in order to reintegrate into regular human society. Really, there are many ways they could go about this. I'd say right now this would be a mix between a new reskin and a brand new race, and this really is the biggest issue for Blizzard, as introducing a brand new race is unfortunately a lot of work. However, these changes could potentially just be slight, similar to how we have the light Dranai, the allied ones, and the regular Dranai. They're quite similar, yet they're different at the same time. In the case of humans, it wouldn't be as easy as just adding a paler skin and changing the eyes, but they wouldn't really need to come up with a brand new concept and a just a completely different looking race. This could just be a mix between the current Forsaken model and the current human model, so kinda something in the middle. So personally, I would really love to see this happening at some point, maybe even in the near future, as the Dark Rangers did come out of nowhere, so why can't the save be done for the humans? As I said, lore-wise, there is not a single reason stopping this from happening. Thank you for watching, check out what are these stables in Orgamon Storm by clicking on the screen and check out Nona's Academy for videos of real world history. See you next time.